Yeah. Okay, we're back exactly where we were. Great thing about visual novels is there's no real excuse for not just having a checkpoint every five seconds. So it's literally on exactly where we were at the end of last week's recording session. Imagine you had to go through a whole chapter again because it was like, nah, man, we didn't checkpoint. <laughs> Not that it matters, I stopped at the last semester. How many semesters in pigeon school? Let's find out. A student ID. Someone from 2-2. Not a name I recognize. Should I go find their classroom? They might have gone home, though. Any teacher will do, right? Sir. This is this guy, man. <laughs> all he does is sleep. How does he keep his job? I'm a teacher. You just sleep all day. You know, and I keep your job. Well, actually, no, whatever. Sir. Oh, hello, Gerald. Did you forget something? Like, homework? I don't know. I don't mark it. I'm too fucking lazy. I found someone's ID card, sir. It's from 2 2. I thought I should take it here. Oh, thanks, I guess. I guess I can take care of it. Huh? What is it? Nothing, just... You did find this today, right, Chan? I really fucked up the name there. Yeah, in the corridor outside. This student has been absent since the middle of June. That's weird. A mystery? Oh, it turns into a murder mystery. I'd like this. So then, was the card lying there all summer? No birdie noticed it. It's awfully clean. Shouldn't it be at least a little dusty? I'll take care of it. Thank you, Cham. <laughs> yeah, they make a good point. Is there like some hidden murder mystery plot that if you take a certain thing, you know, you improve your wisdom or charisma high enough? It's like, there's been a murder and a disappearance, and it's like Pigeon Detective. Oh my god, that's the name of an indie band that disappeared after 2006. <laughs> Attend. Ah, uh, well, by the look at my stats, I'm pretty stupid and I'm not very charismatic, so it's very representative of who I am in my real life, but the vitality is not. Oh, uh, my stats would all be nearly zero. Let's go music. Drown out the sorrow of the sounds of beautiful death metal. Oh no, my heavy metal recorder. Doot. We don't have any spare doots. I'm not even gonna fucking ch attempt that. I do have my doot, at least. <laughs> you can play that doot. Doot. Boo Zaylas, man. Apparently, I can't. Oh, there. <laughs> just rock up to music class. Oh, I ain't got any instruments, so I'll just clap my face and go, oh. <laughs> Cuckoo. A beautiful autumn day for all doves. You're a dove in an all pigeon world, my friend, but I'm a human in a whole pigeon world, so fuck these people, you know? Overthrow society. It's the dove and humans world now, motherfucker. You're in a good mood. Did you find a pudding? He was granted a vision. He's gonna say pudding. <laughs> a vision. <laughs> Talk about puddy puddy in my fucking. From Lord Puddy himself. Do you know the legend of Puddy Puddy? I have the misfortune of knowing about Pudi Pudi, Giga Pudi, his golden pudding steed shining like the sun itself. Good, it's going in a different thing. One of my friends just sent me a weird Japanese ad like five years ago from now without any context and it's just Pudi Pudi, Pudi Pudi, your buddy, Giga Pudi, and I was just like, Oh my god, why would you send me this? And it got stuck in my head forever, man. <laughs> um. That 
at last he returns. <laughs> Guiding the pigeons to the promised land. Well, fuck you, man. What about me? Yes, yes, Gerald knows the legend. The Lord of Pudding appeared in Okasan's dreams. The pudding must be nearby. Jeez, is he just like the Jehovah's Witnesses of the bird world? <laughs> just goes door to door trying to spread the word of the pudding. <laughs> there is that one day Gerald might meet the pudding lord too. Okasan must now go. Farewell. Zoom. So what my cat does at three in the morning, runs around going zoom zoom. Oh, just don't try and tackle it with brain power. I find with these nut jobs, they just like to believe in their bullshit. <laughs> you know. Today is a school festival. Our class decided to do a maid cafe because they're fucking weirdos. I'm not scheduled to work until tomorrow, so peace out, bitches. Nothing to do. Oh, I would have just gone home. Unhand Okasan. Unhand him at once. Oh. The race war starts again. What now? Gerald! <laughs> For fuck's sake. Who helped him put the crown on? I thought Ryuta was... Oh, what? Face the consequences. He doesn't like the dress. What is it? Like, why would you make a... They're not wearing clothes the rest of the time. By starting to dress them in clothes at certain occasions, you're indicating that it's kind of lewd slash weird that they're not wearing clothes all the time. That's how clothes of a concept works. <laughs> well, I guess. This is kind of looking like something Peter... Oh, Peter would start a protest over literally fucking things that have no relevance. They're essentially like... You're meant to fight in the nude. <laughs> Hey, this isn't the time to talk about the guy I used to know who was a literal oil wrestler, but yeah, you can't go commando in a maid cafe, but apparently you can the rest of the time, including on a running track and a school. Look, it suits you. Whip out my fat mirror and slap it on the table in front of them. Funk. <laughs> We've been detected. Who? He seems awfully. He is trying to court his own the mated reflection. Pretty common thing for pigeons back in the day. But they should have progressed now. It's been years of progress. They're still at this point. Never tried to court me. Yeah, I'm actually kind of pissed. I've been following Okasan around for a while and hearing his pudding bullshit and all this narcissistic pigeon dove motherfucker. I'm annoyed. I've been wasting time with this guy. Gog. You said you didn't have your recorder earlier. You forgot your recorder because you handed it in instead of math homework. How can you... Sometimes these things are highly, like, unrealistic. Your math homework, flat piece of paper, your recorder, tube-shaped musical instrument comes in bag. Sugoi, I, I'm such a dunderhead. Like, come on, man. That's like me going, oh, should I look at my phone or pick up my orange juice and answer the orange juice? Like, it's not the same thing, you know? <laughs> it's just like, at that point, you're just being an asshole. Or you have some sort of dissociative disorder. Excuse me. Huh. I expected to see them together, like this, in the apparent nude. See nothing peculiar about these numbers. Whose shoe? Oh, the doctor. There's a man down students in the past few years. It's an insert from you, but see, I have overestimated the sleepy one. Sorry, I couldn't help them. Asshole. <laughs> I'll. Do I, why do I have to cite? I'm a fucking student. You 
just say, um, and cough loudly. <laughs> That's not very nice. Doctor. What do you want? Hello, Chan. What is it? Uh, I gave you my recorder because I'm a fucking moron. So you did. How do pigeons play the recorder? Here's the workbook. Yeah, thank you, so sorry, sir. Like teacher, like pupil, I see. Wow, this doctor is not making any friends. <laughs> so, theme of intrigue. Things are building up. That's all for today. Finals are coming up. Study, I guess. Yay, it's Oko-san. What is it? What is this pudding you're searching for? Pudding is pudding. Wow, that was informative. Might you know where Oko-san could find pudding? Like, you know, you might get more people on your calls if you actually explain yourself even slightly, dude. Um... I mean, I'm gonna try the grocery store. Or not, I broke it. There we go. No? Oh, you can. Oh, there we go. Oh, I got good. Indeed! Wait, Ocus. And he's gone. Cool! He's back. Fucking hell, dude. I'm sorry. Whoa! <laughs> I guessed. I don't know what you want from me. Don't, well, that turned fast. I liked you, Okasan, and you've been a dick. Why is this happening? Can I win that encounter? Also, notice that I haven't seen any of the students, and it's basically locked me in with Okasan now. After the first semester. Chan. Getting better, I guess. Yeah, it straight up just locked me in hardcore. I haven't seen any of the other guys. Even Ryuta really that much. It's the first day of the new year, it looks like I'm still alive. A little cold. It's calm and the sun is warm. I'll go visit the shrine. The shrine? You have shrines? A lot of birds here already. Must be nice to have warm winter plumage. Maybe I should borrow some from somebody. I think I'll buy an amulet and go home. Yeah, oh, there you are. I was just talking about you. Happy New Year. Ah, uh, sure. I threw away your friendship for a pudding loving dove, but you know, weirder things have happened. What are you doing, Ryuta? I'm working here today and tomorrow. Looks good on you. Which would you like? I like one for pudding. Oh. Conquest! Are you here all day? First day is always busy. Maybe some other time. Since you're here, why not go get a fortune? They're next to the main building. See you, Ryuta. Hmm. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune, sir? I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. <laughs> why don't you take one? It's never good when you get the chicken of ill omen. I will. Should I take this one? Chicken of ill omen. Bork split. <laughs> bork. Okay. What does Bork do? You got a better one than I did. This will be a good year for you, Shan, but I'm fucking dying. <laughs> From the chicken. I feel like a chicken could be a mild threat to a pigeon, to be honest. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. What a shocker. You're still hibernating, sir. Oh. 
Happy Juni year will be over before you know. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. Uh, school's a nightmare. <laughs> There's nothing special. Nothing to worry about. Change from semesters to terms suddenly. Or I haven't been reading. Oh, new screens. <laughs> that was a short semester, so let's just power through. <laughs> Light out. Maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. We. Everything's still designed for humans. You notice? It's like a pigeon world for pigeons. Do they take over or something? Because it's like, everything's still designed for humans. And like the lockers and the doors and the lighting. Like, how is this any of this useful to a pigeon? Legumentins. Oh, yeah, like, okay. Like, Valentine's, but for legumes. I think I'll buy some beans. A holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently it used to involve throwing them at the pigeons. Disgraceful! Good evening, here for beans? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you imagine walking into any place in the world and the clerk greets you as Good evening, here for beans? That you think is particularly good. Those bean medleys for races. They're a little pricey. Races? I'm sorry, like, this is going. <laughs> I'm having trouble, okay? Hard to say without knowing the bird in question. That's true, sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. Races. Racing blend. But that will bring Okasan, won't it? Because he's zooming around the whole time. <laughs> Swollen hemp. Yeah. Bitter black beans. Calm corn. Country millet. You know I want to click on the swollen hemp. It's probably the wrong answer. Sorry. I'm back. I'll take these. Thank you, miss. I'm Gerald. Today's the day. Preparations are complete. Time to give beans to that special sunbirdie. <laughs> Am I the only boy girl in the whole school? Okasan, aww. Oh. Someone's about to escape. I have to give it to Okasan. Here, hemp seeds. Fucking hell! Oh, he's excited. It's messed up, but I hope we can. Oh, ah! Hand over the hemp and nobody gets hurt. My confession. Maybe I should have told him before I let him see the seeds. Ah, at least he's happy. Munch, munch. Gerald is an angel of the pudding god. Comes to this world to spread joy and goodwill. You and your fucking pudding. Uh, Okasan will remember this gift forever. <laughs> I've learned his, earned his lifelong trust with him, but are we going to get down? It's pretty cheap. <laughs> okay, yeah. Swollen hemp and he's fucking happy as hell. Finals are over, time to coast along until spring break. <laughs> Track team doing anything during break, I should go ask. Oksan, you're in here, he's dead. There he is. He has a bag of dried beans in a canteen, is he going hiking? What are you doing? As you can see, I'm preparing to depart on a great journey over spring break. No, Oksan has squid, a squid school. <laughs> Quit school? He's going on a quest. I've obviously picked the wrong man. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> you can't do that. It's a miracle for someone with a brain like yours to get into a school in the first place. You waste this chance, you'll end up a failure. Okasan will not be stopped. He's going on a quest to seek the true pudding. What is this fucking pudding you're on about? This is not what I think of as pudding, right? Pudding is the ambrosia. <laughs> Miracles in jiggling corporeal form. Treasure shining with the seven colors of the rainbow. Ah, this is starting to go down some weird Cthulhu ass fucking shit. Partake in the wobbling flesh and you will never experience sadness again. I'm not sure I'd want to eat wobbling flesh. You serious? You're leaving? Oksan never goes back on his word. I'll. I kinda wanna go with him, but it's kinda let's just go with him and see what happens. I'm coming with you. What fair maiden the quest will be mortally dangerous. I don't care if this true pudding exists, I wanna find out what the fuck you're on about. Ah, oh, Kassan knows your abilities well. You will not be an impediment. So take me with you. Very well, birds of a feather and all, all that. Yay. Until we catch the end of this rainbow, and so our great quest began. So you really like the school drama just collapses if you just don't side with the right people or you just ignore certain people. Like that library kid, you just he disappears for good if after the second semester if you just never speak to him or never say the right things or don't pay attention. <sighs> we ran for years across forests, fields, mountains, switching ever onwards. We actually found the ruins of the pudding. chest must contain the pudding itself. I can't believe you were right. It's actually frustrating me that you're not just a fucking mad pigeon. This is the end. Ha! Ah, it's bright! Eyes! The light that blinds! Nothing inside. It was a fake! What should we do, Oksan? I guess we open the unknowable and we have wrought a horrible eldritch chaos upon this world of pigeon. This golden pudding steed shining like the sun itself. I wanted to see the pudding steed. <laughs> True ending has been unlocked! <laughs> he returns to his lost home, guiding the pigeons to the pure promised land. <laughs> What's wrong, Okasan? What the fuck are you on? It's that hemp talking again. It's been years, and we're still talking about hemp. Lord Pudi! <laughs> I am no longer called Okasan. He has been possessed by the Cthulhu-esque Pudi. Lord of the Pudding. Okasan was but my avatar in this mortal plane. I am now complete once more. Is this how the Bible ends? <laughs> Elkasan, what are you? I am grateful to you, fair one. I have at last achieved my goal. I am the bringer of true pudding. I shall bring about a world of pudding. <laughs> what is this pudding? <laughs> well, you can't leave. I've followed you for years and you still haven't told me what the pudding is. What is this? Pudding is hope. It is the future. <laughs> <laughs> I shall now become the very concept of pudding itself. That's a, that's a good goal to have in life, isn't it? <laughs> that's not Newtonian. <laughs> <laughs> I've enjoyed our travels together. However, you must live on a few. That is fine. If you can fulfill the concept of pudding, I shall be satisfied. I shall not live or die. What about me? <laughs> I shall be the concept of ideal pudding. Never in wax and always. There shall be no regret. Farewell, Gerald. Oh, Kassam! <laughs> <coughs> and so the world was engulfed in pudding. Finally, we see the pudding. That's a pretty good pudding. 
According to the fundamental principles of Okasan's new universe, every living being carries pudding in its heart. It sounds like, like a religious dictatorship, I have to admit. Is that the end? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! That was the end! Fucking kidding me, right? This better have been recording. Thank fuck. I'm not going through that again. <laughs> I feel like Okasan just used me for his goddamn pudding. Buy the pigeon for the pigeon. What the hell, man? <laughs> I was just like joking around for the first thing, just like, oh yeah, I just guess I'll take Okasan to the like thing, you know? Because I didn't really want to like take it seriously, you know? I was just like, oh yeah, I'll just pick like the daft character because it'll be funny and it's obviously not consequential, and then, you know, put it off, and suddenly I'm helping him become a pudding. <laughs> it's just like, and then like, the like, rich guy, and his like, racist brother, and like, Ryuta, and all these people just disappear out of your life. And there's a whole intrigue with the disappearing t student, and I'm just like, what? You never hear about that. Ending number seven, 2011 of Pudding Odyssey. <laughs> So we got ending number seven. And the achievable have unlocked. Let's just have a look in gallery. So, oh my god, look at the endings. Oh, they're not all endings. Wait, what? I remember getting this. I must have done. They all endings this page. Let's have a look. This is a lot weirder. What? I'm sorry, is there some sort of like. <laughs> We've barely scratched the surface. Avs High City Bombing. In 2173, so this is like a dystopia of the future where pigeons take over, apparently. <laughs> the Alves High City building in Area A23, Section 1, was bombarded by human extremists. Immediately afterwards, the Hawk Pie spawned the Earth Crawlers Extremist Organization. Well, I'm not being funny, that sounds like a slur. <laughs> I think that's the point. So. There's a whole. Thing going on here, you know. Okay, well, I was gonna say I'm gonna play this once and never play it again because it's silly. But there's a whole undercurrent. Should we do law videos and shit? Find out what the true meaning is because I just went for a daft ending involving pudding and now I feel stupid. Because, I mean, <laughs> we never found out the truth. We only found out Okasan's puddy truth. We didn't find out everyone else's truth. Oh lord, this game is weird. <laughs> kind of freaked out. 